What's going on guys? Welcome back to Turner Fishing. It's Steven Turner. So, uh, summertime. You know, beginning of summertime, first of the post-spawn, what is the best way to catch bass on Lake Murray? I mean, you could have guessed it right there. A frog. No, 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 I'm kidding. I like a frog. <laughs> but, the herring spawn. The herring spawn, aka a no-brainer fishing. It takes no brain to fish the heron spawn, honestly. But, that being said, it can be very frustrating sometimes. So basically, I'm going to explain the heron spawn. This is going to be a quick video with some fishing after I get done. And if you enjoy these types of videos, please hit the subscribe button down below and hit the thumbs up for me. So in, in general, when thinking about the herring spawn, you're thinking about points and flat, steep clay banks or rip wrap in the morning so but we're going to focus on points in this video so this is how you fish the herring spawn top secret guys nobody does this i'm kidding everybody does this but getting on the key fish is what's going to win the tournament and what's not going to win the tournament see i can't get on the key fish when i'm in the tournament so but you basically you want to map out a circle you know you find fish on this point okay cool catch some they're easy to catch i mean you could throw whatever and catch them go to the next point there's no fish okay go to the next point and you caught the first fish on the first point at eight o'clock in the morning you caught the second fish on the point that's half a mile that way at 10 30. all right so you just keep doing this and you piece together a circle and you literally fish a point for 10 to 15 minutes go to the next one fish a point go to the next one fish a point go to the next one and you keep doing that until it's time for weigh-in or you're done fishing for the day so uh, I'm gonna talk about how I approach these points real quick and then we're gonna get into a little bit of fishing to show you how simple it is because it's honestly pretty dang simple to catch these fish so first off herring spawn to me is three key things top water middle column and a bottom at the end so what I mean by that is when I first pull up on the point my first cast is gonna bomb it straight across that point with a chrome top water bait now my two choices is going to be ah that's some sharp hooks you know something like a uh, walker this is a uh, Berkeley hijacker it's three treble hooks I like three treble hooks on my walking baits and it's chrome that is the number one key to these herring fish chrome it don't matter what color that is it don't matter what color anything is but you want that bait to be chrome on top I don't know why but that's like the the, the easiest way to make a bait look like a herring so we got a Berkeley hijacker as the first one and this is a sev dial no this is a i'm a i'm a glide yeah that's what that is so i'm a glide this is the wake bait one so you know it just goes on top I'm doing this thing and uh there's a bait that just came out in chrome color called the magic swimmer amazing bait so next you know we we, we threw across the point we got our bites on top What's the next bait that we want? A fluke. Oh, yes. I mean, in reality, you can rig a fluke up two ways and fish two rods all day long. You don't even need the chrome top water. I like top water. But you can, you can rig this up on a four out hook and with a light wire four out hook and throw it out there and just jerk the hell out of it and the fluke's going to dart in and out the water and they will just freaking annihilate it if they're on that point. The other way, put it on a swim bait head like I do in the video, or on a weighted swim bait hook, and fish it like a jerk bait. Gets crushed. So you've caught the fish on top, you've caught the fish in the middle. What's next? Carolina rig. Yes. But you're essentially using either a fluke or a natural worm. I, I like using a fluke or a swim bait even. And you just throw a Carolina rig, maybe two or three casts on the point before you leave. 
you might pick up a big one doing that because the big ones in my opinion are a little lower in the water column yeah guys we're gonna get into the fishing like i said uh share the video just some quick tips not a very long video but you can get out there you hit these points with these exact baits or baits of your own and you're gonna catch fish it's a no-brainer Number one for the day, one treble hook. Ah. <clears throat> to be in the right area at the right time. We're gonna let that guy go. Ain't really big enough for a pitcher. So this point right here, I honestly seen a blue heron, the bird, on the point so i figured i'd check it out and that was the first cast here but that's what you do with this i mean you got the wind blowing onto this point i mean it's just a perfect scenario they're gonna blow, blow the bait fish up there bass are going to sit here and feed. And with this Berkeley hijacker, I mean, I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm trying to make as much noise as I can. If there wasn't so much wind, I wouldn't be doing that. Right now, I'm trying to just make as much noise as possible call them up as soon as I turn the camera on <laughs> that's a fat one I gotta get off this point so the wind don't blow me up on it All right, let me get my pliers so this guy don't mess me up. If I turn the camera off and then he swirled at it, I'll turn it back on real quick. <laughs> so, I mean, the hair and spawn can be one of the funnest times to fish. I mean, these fish are so easy to target, so easy to catch. It's all about finding the right point, hitting it at the right time, and you can just rack up on them. better and I can throw it in this wind a little bit better but honestly the way you throw it I'll show you what I got I got a Strike King Squadron Jig Head 3 8 ounce it's got a really heavy hook but it gets that fluke down just a little bit and I'm able to throw it a lot better in this wind
<laughs> oh, yeah, I could really put a clinic on these dang fish. He freaking choked it. A little largey. Sometimes all you need is this flute. There's another one. <laughs> no real giants, but it's fun. Spot lock. We'll be going to town on them. Which I'm going to town on them anyway, but hopefully soon we'll be able to do all that.